Hey y'all, my name is Ryan Wilson. I am the keyboardist and rec leader for Going Heart Ministries. I'm so glad that you're tuning into this video. Uh, a video that wouldn't be happening under normal circumstances. Um, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, Going Heart had to cancel our annual Pace Setters Leadership Camp, unfortunately. This is a camp that is designed to build servant leaders based off of the model that Jesus Christ displayed for us in his life. Um, so if you are a middle schooler or high schooler that is interested in learning what that means, uh, please go to glowingheart.org slash pace setters and read up on the camp. It's a great camp, highly encouraged for you to come next summer. Uh, but until then, we have this video to act as a sort of replacement as part of many other videos. Many of y'all do not know me, and so you do not know the kind of significance that this place that I'm currently sitting in has had on my life. Uh, this sanctuary is the sanctuary of the Hills Church in San Antonio, Texas, the church that I grew up in. In fact, I even grew up in its school, which is located downstairs in the basement. But this place had a big um, role in shaping who I am today. And it was here that I first learned in a class that I went through the book, Understanding the Times, of the importance of the doctrine of Imago Dei. And I'm going to explain what that is, give a brief introduction into this idea and this concept of human identity in light of scripture. And I hope that through this, you can either be refreshed or encouraged by this understanding so that we can live lives that better glorify God. So with that, let's go ahead and turn to Genesis 1:27, which says this. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. This verse has, plays a critical role in our understanding of what it means to be human. The question of who am I is one of the fundamental questions to our worldview, how we interpret the world and its happenings. And there are many implications to this verse, but what could probably be considered the primary implication is this, that we have a responsibility to bear God's image well. I mentioned the term imago Dei. It's the Latin term for this doctrine of the image of God, that we as humans are born with the image of God as the key and centerpiece of our identity. And what does that mean? It basically means this, that when we were created, we were designed and purposed to glorify God and how we live our lives by reflecting who he is to the world around us. This is what it means to bear God's image well. Micah 6.8 summarizes it in a nutshell in an even better way. Micah 6.8 says this, that what does the Lord require of you but to do justice, love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God? Because we see that in Genesis 1.27, in the Imago Dei, there's an implication that we are to submit to God's lordship because he created us. And in that, we should have the humility to walk beside him, to walk under his leadership so that we can better know how to emulate who he is to the world around us. And how do we do that? By doing justice and loving mercy and a lot of other things that as you read scripture, you'll find is a common theme to be like Christ as we see through the gospels. And it's because of this implication that we treat people the way that we do. Because the Imago Dei also establishes our equal value as humans. And I'm sure you've seen in the past few days how this idea has really impacted our nation. Um, because of the death of George Floyd and others, we have seen this issue really um, start to rise. And I see on my own Instagram feed, that there is a Christian response, this call to the image of God. But we must understand what that means. And that means that we are to bear his image well because we understand that all people are equally and uniquely made in God's image. Because in Genesis 1, we read of the creation account of the first day, six days of creation. Days 1 through 5, God creates the world, everything that we see around us. And on day 6, he creates man. And he takes the time to mold and shape man and to give us his image, which is distinct and unique from the rest of creation. You see, this is where the value of human life originates. Because unlike the rest of creation, we bear God's image. 
We get to glorify him in a way that the rest of creation can't because we can have this relationship with him because our identity is ultimately found in who God is. That is where our identity, I, <laughs> that is where our identity ultimately originates. We understand who we are because of who God is. Because God is infinitely valuable, we too have value. And that is why we treat people with respect, with dignity. This is why sins like murder and racism are wrong. Because to commit either of these sins is to say to another person one of two things. Either I have more value than you, or you have less value than me. It's the same idea with two different points of emphasis. One saying that I am better, and the other saying that you aren't as good as I am as a human. You aren't as much of a human as I am. But we see that just as all have equally fallen from God's glory, as we see in Romans 3.23, and as is stated in Psalms 14 and 53, that no one is righteous, God in his grace allows us to continue to bear his image so that we can bring others back to himself as we are called to in the Great Commission. Because we see that the Imago Dei spans all of scripture. That is this awesome privilege that we get to have to bear God's image well, to treat others the way that we would be treated as Christ commands us to. Because we ultimately see that we as humans, though fallen, are still image bearers of the God of the universe, who we are called to submit to because we are his creation. We are not our own. Nay, God is so good that we are his if we are found in him in Christ Jesus. And with that, that is a brief introduction into the concept of the Imago Dei. And if you have any questions or any prayer requests, please reach out to Glowing Heart Ministries. Um, our Facebook page is Glowing Heart Ministries. Um, our Instagram is at GH Ministries. Uh, please reach out to us. Um, if you'd like to reach out to me personally, my email is rwilson at glowingheart.org. Uh, please bear God's image well, and this is how I like to remember to do so. I like to remember that life is short, live it well, take notes, tell strangers. Thanks, y'all.